Thank you for joining us on our amazing adventure to Antarctica. Starting in the U.S., we flew from Miami to Buenos Aires, Argentina. From there, we flew to the southernmost city in the world, Ushuaia, Argentina. This was where we embarked on our expedition ship, the Ocean Albatross, which took us to the great white continent of Antarctica. Please watch all four episodes of this journey to see nature's stunning glaciers and icebergs, wildlife, fun activities, and of course, many, many adorable penguins. Enjoy. Here we are on the last full day in Antarctica. Where are we, dear? Near Channel. This is absolutely stunning. How beautiful behind us here. We're about to enter the channel. It's the most photographed place around in Antarctica. It's narrow and beautiful. So we're heading uh, to the south now, and then we're going to turn around and head back north. And they said it takes about 45 minutes to uh, complete the channel. Going through this beautiful, beautiful channel this morning. All this pack ice and peaks. Beautiful reflection of this peak in the water. Stadium one meter. Buenos dias. I like how he was calling out the clearance between us and that decently big iceberg that we were passing so close to. Shane, get the group to look up here. Hi, Jane. Hi. another little island. Hopefully we'll be able to see the penguin colony on this little island. Useful island. Here we are just outside Useful Island and we're waiting to hear if we'll be able to do a landing. They've sent the Zodiacs uh, to check it out. It's an island with Gen 2 penguins. Yep. But as we uh, looked out over our uh, balcony, here's this cool iceberg that we saw. Right there. It's got a hot tub and a slide. I should say a cold tub and a slide into the water. We're going to Useful Island. Yay, it's so useful. It's a, a little choppy as you can tell. Stafford's got it all together. Maybe this is just preparing us for the Drake. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, that's not <laughs> I already put the patch on. Okay, go. icebergs in the background here on this useful island are just amazing. What a setting with these 
Gen 2 penguins and the icebergs. <laughs> I just love it. In a week after the first breeding is completed, then they will mate again and they can lay two more. Hi, how are you? Last spot, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty smelly. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. Easiest way down. Oh, this is That is a nice house. What time are you supposed to be back? Uh, 9 p.m. I think. Yeah, that was fun. It is 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. When he trips and falls, he goes, oh, look, I meant to do that. <laughs> oh, there's a broken egg shell up along here. Oh, really? Uh, From a skewer? Yeah, a skewer or a skewer? A skewer. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, that's oh, great. That's great. Okay, let's go. Our last zodiac trip yeah. back to the boat. Our last landing. Yeah. Yeah. This was so fun. We made origami penguins. Do you know which kind of penguin this is? Gen 2 because orange feet, orange. orange feet. Then we made some whales. Nice. And then out of the little scraps, I made a teeny little Gen 2 penguin. Yes. And it was so fun. Yeah, these I made one for my, one for my daughter, one for my daughter-in-law, and there's one for my granddaughter Amina. I love my granddaughter Ryan. Wow! I'm happy to do this. On and the I didn't may have anything to do with them. Yeah. I've been my license and experience. I'm sailing from 2007. Quite a small room, but uh, it has a lot of equipment here. Uh, water production, etc. Uh, etc. Et so everything we have on board is here. I always say that, that is the, the favorite equipment of all passengers on board because it is the ship stabilizers. They make your uh, stay on board comfortable and smooth. We've been in the Drake Passage uh, most uh, later afternoon yesterday and this morning. Not as bad as we thought it would be. 